Let's talk about motivation, decision making and brain. But first, few words about muscles. Uh, people who go for gym, they know when you lift heavy weights, your muscles break and then body restore them and restore them more stronger to be able to lift those weights next time. And that's how this bodybuilding and fitness works. So how is this connected to motivation and brain? Our brain is also a muscle and the most important functions of this muscle is to think. We cannot not think. If we do not think at all, we're dead. So as any other muscle, <laughs> oh, I don't have it. Yeah, as any other muscle, we can train the brain. And the answer for motivation and decision-making is small part of brain that responsible for our decisions and motivation. Just imagine the time when you come home and you think like, okay, I come home and I will do this, 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 and then you come home and watch TV. Those people say like, yeah, I'm not so much motivated. I cannot do anything with myself. We know that it's just excuse. You can do. And the best thing you can do is to develop your, these skills, motivation skills. What you do, you sit somewhere in the room alone, better put earphones to disable all background noise and put alarm for 10 minutes. And during these 10 minutes, try to think about nothing. It's very hard. After a few weeks, you will master it. But important thing is you do the same amount of time every day, like every day, three minutes or every day, 10 minutes. Think about nothing. And to make it better, try to focus on your breath. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Why this helps you to train your uh, motivation? So, as I said, this small part in the brain that is responsible for decisions, the brain cannot not think, right? And when you not think, brain makes its best to think and you not think about anything brain again makes its best to think and thus brain makes itself and this part stronger so next time you will be able to think about more things or make more decisions and that's how we train. And this technique is not something new. Just now, we explain it with science. But this technique is well known for centuries. In Buddhism, it's called meditation. In Islam, it's called prayer. Uh, if you practice meditation, a lot of people nowadays do that, then uh, continue cleaning your brain, thinking about nothing, Finding that peace. If you practice Islamic prayer or if you practice Islam, then uh, be just in your prayers. Do not think about uh, everyday things during the prayer because during the prayer you give yourself to Lord. So doing these things every day, same amount of time, will help you to be much more motivated. Thank you.